Peace to you guys, deuces, deuces, deuces. Um, blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord is awesome. Um, just looked at the animated uh, movie, Alita, Battle Angel. Um, John Woodard, thank you for the link on YouTube. I checked it out. And basically, the movie Alita follows that story. Um, the movie Alita that we saw in the cinemas follows the 1993 Alita storyline. So that's really cool to know. Um, there's some changes, of course. The, the, the game. Um, so, you know, the, 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 it's kind of like Powerball, I guess. The Powerball game that they had, the competition, wasn't in the original Alita animated movie. Um, the Overlord, the guy who was in Salem, who was controlling everything, that wasn't in the original Alita animated movie either. Um, was there anything else that wasn't there? No. I think that the movie is actually visually better than the animated movie, um, clearly. The fight scenes, the fight choreography is just on another level. Of course, um, the story is slightly different. In that, um, you know, with Alita, the, the animated series, there were some characters that were missing, like um, the, the female character that was kind of like the arachnid spider. Uh, she wasn't there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, of course, the bounty hunter, too. The bounty hunter um, was changed. The, the, the bounty hunter that was... Um, um, the bounty hunter that uh, Alita was had this rift between herself and, and, and it. And even the way how uh, in the story there was a slight difference in that the animated story was simpler in that Alita didn't get, she annihilated the head, you know, the head bad monster. But in the actual movie, the head monster actually annihilated Alita, so she had to upgrade to her body. And also the backstory of Alita, that Alita was this warrior, you know, this 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 water warrior from 3,000 years ago um, was changed up a little bit. But um, everything else was the same. Um, no, well, actually, no. Actually, the ending of Alita as well in the movie was a little different to the ending uh, that they had in the animated movie, right? Um... So it was very interesting. And then, of course, there's certain parts where Alita, like, in, in the actual Alita movie that we saw, she gives a heart. She literally takes out her heart and gives it to the guy and stuff like that. And the guy was, because this, everything was linked to this kind of Powerball kind of story, um, the guy was supposed to set up Alita in the actual movie that we saw. Whereas in uh, the movie, the animated movie, he didn't set her up at any time. He was just trying to get money to go to Salem, up to Salem. But everything else is pretty much the same, except because they flush it out, put it in live action and CGI, uh, it looks a whole hell of a lot better than the uh, animated movie. Um, so thanks, John Richards, for letting me see that. I got to see the animated movie. I've reviewed it. Of course, it was way back in 1993 that animated movie was done. And um, the Alita that we saw on the screen was fantastic. It was fantastic. I mean, um, I think it's an upgrade to the animated movie that I just saw. So I guess people who ever saw Alita Battle Angel, whenever they did, they would really love this movie because it pays tribute to that in so many ways. So, yeah, uh, they kind of stuck with the, the, the storyline. It wasn't multiple storylines. It wasn't a different story. They just they just took made live action the animated the movie pretty much yeah all right guys uh thanks a lot john richards shout out to you man shout out to you uh shout out to the other people who enjoyed uh my video uh leave your comments in the comment section below also share man i don't have anything extra new t for you guys if you want me to review any other movies let me know and um i'll do so all right have a good one